hi friends here we're going to learn the methods of evaluating the limits right there are many methods many methods right and many many kinds of problem there are many kinds of you cannot imagine even there are many many kinds of problem right and overall you know uh, uh, I have uh, 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 I have categorized them into the 13 methods, right? Uh, here, one by one, we'll be learning 13 method of evaluating the um, limits, right? And in those 13 methods, this is the first method that is simplification method, right? So we can evaluate the limit by simplification method. So as the method is saying simplification, so let's simplify here and get the value of this, right? Let's evaluate this. So again, yeah, limit when x tends to 3 1 upon x minus 3 now see here uh, what what we are actually watching here in this uh, side the first is variable and the second is constant but here is first one is constant and second one is variable and you know later we have to take the LCM also of this so that is why we have to do the same as like this means first variable then constant so what I'm writing here I'm not giving you the sign first uh, 9x upon first variable right and then will be constant so it is positive right the 27 is in positive and uh, uh, x cube is in negative right so to make it negative I have to put it here negative so now x cube is negative but 27 is in positive form so it is in since it is in positive form so it will be now minus times minus right so minus times minus will be 27 but you know 27 I can directly write in this form also uh, minus 3 cube because 27 is also equals to 3 cube right 3 times 3 times 3 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 right so further limit x tends to 3 1 x minus 3 now you know it is in the form of a cube minus b cube right uh, as we have learned previously a cube minus b cube and we know the formula of aq minus bq aq minus bq is equals to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square right so exactly this formula i'm writing here minus 9x uh, a cube sorry a minus b that is a minus b that is x minus 3 times a square that is x square my plus a b that is x into 3 that is 3 x plus 3 square that is 9 right okay now let's further do limit when x tends to 3 now we have to take the LCM of this both right so the LCM of the both will be x minus 3 times the x square plus 3 x plus 9 right and uh, this will divide this whole when he, when x minus 3 will divide this whole we'll get this part because x minus 3 x minus 3 will get cut so x square plus 3x plus 9 minus now see when this whole denominator x minus 3 times x square plus 3x plus 9 will divide this whole denominator you'll get 1 so 9x time 1 it is itself 9x only right 9x now limit when x tends to 3 it will be now x square plus 3x minus 9x it will be minus 6x plus 9 whole divided by x minus 3 right and uh, x square plus 3x plus 9 right you know friend uh, here is something different again uh, this part actually I mean to say uh, this part only this part only you can see something differently a is uh, I'll tell you just here yeah, just I'm doing here okay limit x tends to 3 x square right x square minus 2 times I'm just splitting this 6 right 2 times x times 3 2 3 is a 6 right plus 3 square right what you got here a square minus 2 a b plus b square and you know what is it exactly a square minus 2 a b plus b square is the formula of a minus b to the power whole square a minus b whole square this is the formula of a minus b whole square so in next level I can write this right so x minus 3 times x square plus 3x plus 9 right so now limit x minus 3 
I, I can now write like this x minus 3 whole square right uh, or, or also I can write whole square uh, not not writing the whole square I can write uh, x minus 3 times x minus 3 right but I'm writing okay fine x minus 3 times x square plus 3x plus 9 okay so this x minus 3 and this square will cut down because there are two x minus 3 and there is only one right so what it will be now limit x tends to 3 x minus 3 x square plus 3x plus 9 right now when you plug the value of x you will not get in the 0 upon 0 form right or infinity form so you don't have to worry simply plug it because you're not getting anything numerator you are not getting the 0 right so simply plug this value you will get 3 minus 3 right 3 square plus 3 times 3 plus 9 so since 3 minus 3 is 0 right 0 open it may be something here it may be you can write it uh, okay I'm doing I'm writing I'm writing here 9 this will be 9 and 9 right so 9 and 9 18 18 and again this will be 9 so it will be 27 right so 0 upon 27 of course it will be 0 right so like this we have to get the evaluate uh, we have to evaluate the limit uh, of any problem so this this is uh, the first method uh, that method is called simplification uh, simplification so we learned here simplification we'll be doing a little bit more problem simplification but uh, after that we'll be learning another method method to to evaluate the limit Okay, we'll meet in the next video. Bye-bye.